This is the Ocean Alexander 37 Legend, and it is a very beautiful, subtle, and intelligently laid out super yacht. And I'm going to give you a full tour of this. We're going to go to every area. We're doing the guest areas, cabins, galley, crew areas, engine space, decks, the lot. And we're going to start right here at the Beach Club because this is basically a fold down transom. So when you're underway, this lifts right up flush across the back of the boat. So that is literally a flush panel across there. When you're stationary, you're at anchor, you pivot this down as we've got it here. You've got a fantastic beach area then. But also it reveals this, which is a brilliant place where people can have a little bit of shelter. They can sit in here. They can keep an eye on the kids swimming in the water or everything that's going on. We've got a little bar area in here. There's a TV in here. There's a glass ceiling for plenty of light. It's a really nice zone when you're at anchor because you've got to bear in mind that when a boat is at anchor, it will automatically lie head to wind because of the wind pulling it against the anchor. So this is always completely sheltered, always a really nice place to be. We're going to head on round and up. We've got the cockpit just here. Big overhang on this one. There's a TV that drops down from the ceiling. That is that panel up there. And we've got the bar area as well. So this is a lovely social outdoor spot. You're a little bit higher up. You've got the shade of this. It's just a really great place to hang out. But what I love about this yacht is the fact that, well, it's the interior. Check this out. I think they've done such a good job of integrating the high gloss dark wood that makes it feel really classy, but without it feeling heavy because they've not done too much of it. So you've got the matte dark wood here, the high gloss here, a lot of light finishes here. And so it feels contemporary, but you don't get that sort of slight IKEA sense that you sometimes get when everything is light. They've done a brilliant job with that. It's a nice accents as well. If you look at the lighting, for example, in around here, up in the ceiling, it's all very subtle. It all works brilliantly. Got AV equipment back here. And then along here is things like a bit of storage, more storage, and storage. And if we come up here, this is the dining area. Now she sleeps 10 guests, so you have 10 seating areas around here. And that's, that sounds like a dull thing to say, but you'd be amazed how often you'll go on a yacht that sleeps 10 and you can only see eight around a dining table. Uh, there is along here, this is what I was looking for. So all your glasses, for example, are nicely tucked away in here. This is all illuminated as you can see. Same here. There we go. Crockery is in there as well. So everything's got its place. Everything is to hand. This is a nice feature. You've got the two sliding doors here and the drop balcony. So you can see how that bulwark there, there's a section of it that hinges down. You put the rails in. That's a wonderful place to sit and look out across the water. I love the stone finish across the bulkhead. And if we go over here, there's a bar area. So this is giving us wine cooler, refrigeration, a little sink in there as well. Very nice indeed. Now this is all poltrona frone. <laughs> I think I pronounced that right furniture so it's all italian leather it smells delicious i wish you could smell it okay we're going to head on forward we do the whole of the main deck first of all we're going to work way down and up we've got more side access here and what this means is again you can open this all up get a lot of ventilation through the boat or of course it can be air conditioned as we've got it at the moment day heads is in here sink toilet and again beautifully finished Forward again, we have got the owner's cabin on the main deck. So let's head right up here. This is brilliant. Look at this wonderful little office space tucked away here. And there's sliding pocket doors. So you can close this off. If your partner's sleeping, you want to come and get a bit of work done. You're not putting the lights on, getting yourself into trouble. You can slide your doors across and have this as a private little area. And the thinking goes even further in here because we walk across here. Now, what you've got on this, if I actually show you first of all, the ensuite is a really beautiful ensuite just down about three or four steps and forward, and that's great. Except perhaps at night when you get up and you're a bit groggy, you don't want to go forward and down the stairs. What you do is you go around that side of the bed. I'll show you the entrance for it. A TV in here as well. Looks so a nice little den. But this is the nighttime toilet. So that's just tucked away in there, sink in there as well. So at night, it is not far to go from here, straight through here, 
and back into bed. For us gentlemen of a certain age, <laughs> that's a blessing. Again, with the beautiful pale finishes and then the dark wood accents. Just looks fabulous. And look at the big vertical windows. Your view here is 270 degrees. It's all the way around. It's absolutely fantastic. There's blinds that drop down across those, of course. But it means when they're open, it's just a tremendous view out. We've got a little dressing table here. And then this is what I was talking about, the steps down to the ensuite. So one, two, three, four steps down to the dressing area. So drawers, for example, are down at the end, like so. And these are all soft close, and then these open like this. So this is all big hanging lockers along here. And they're on both sides. So they're there, they're just here, they're across here, drawers across there, absolutely fantastic. Now we come into here, and then this is the main bathroom, quite literally, there's the bath. It's a whirlpool bath. And we've got the sinks on either side. So there's one over here, again, with those dark wood accents. It just it just offers that bit of class. I, I'm really taken with that. I think they've done such a nice job of integrating that. Because otherwise, everything just gets a little bit sterile. That just brings the luxury back in. In here is the toilet. And in here is a very nice shower. Like so. So that is the owner domain. Let's press on back. That is nice, isn't it? Love that. Okay, we're going to head around this way now. Head on back through. I'm going to take you down to the lower deck. We've got the galley to look at as well. We'll come back through there in a moment. So four cabins down here. These are the VIP cabins. Really good size. Love this little seat they've tucked away in here. And what they've done is they've used the area underneath the stairs. You see that slope there? Is that slope there? Isn't that brilliant? I mean, talk about use every inch. It gives that lovely little nook that otherwise wouldn't be there. Over here, we've got big walk-in closets. There we go. AV equipment, of course, a little dressing table, and then again, a wonderful ensuite back here. This has got sliding pocket doors, so you can close this off with these fellows, which are clipped back at the moment. Uh, where are we? <laughs> I'm sure you know what this looks like, but basically, hang on, there we go. They slide across like that, so you, you can close this area off. Obviously, <laughs> you would want to for certain functions. Moving on, and then we've got the shower over on this side. But that is a very, very nice ensuite. And a very, very generous cabin. Let's cross over. The other one is pretty much identical. So same deal, double bed, the ensuite down at this end. And then again, we've got the walk-in closet and we've got the little seat tucked away there. And look at these windows. I mean, the view out of this is just awesome. There is an Ocean Alexander 32 Explorer over there. And Marianne, as we speak, is filming that one. So if it's not on the channel yet, it'll be coming soon. Here we go, another walk-in closet. Fantastic. OK, let's head on a little bit further up through here. Uh, this one here is uh, refrigeration and a bit of extra storage. Again, with the dark wood, but then the light panels just makes it feel bright, but classy, really classy. There's a little surprise coming here, but I'll show you this first of all. This is two singles in here. You can move this bed across, make that into a double if it's preferred. These are slightly smaller, so you don't get the walk-in wardrobe, but you do get, still, very, very good size for storage. You've got drawers in the dressing table. That dressing table moves, so if you move that across, then that swaps places with it. 
and you've also got a lot of storage then down underneath the bed as well like so so plenty of places to tuck stuff away little dressing table in behind the door stool underneath and then ensuite and the shower and if you wander across to the other side you'll see it's the same but on this one they've configured this one as a double and you know those drawers you might have thought well how do you open these drawers if they're pushed together well you've got access on this side as well if you're rather nifty so you've still got the big drawers and that's a little dressing table you see how i mentioned it moves from the center to the side that's how that works uh, again with a hanging locker in behind here push the right side there we go And again with the ensuite in here. But the little secret feature I wanted to show you in this one, that's that dressing table again, and you've got AV equipment, of course. But check this out. That's the end of the corridor. Or is it? How cool is this? So what you've got here is the utility room. Washing machines are in here. There's a lot of extra refrigeration or freezers, depending on what you want. We've got a little sink in here as well. So here we go, we've got fridges or freezers dotted all the way around, a load of space for provisioning. That is just fantastic. And then that's through to uh, access for service items, in this case, a bow thruster. And the sea lives in there, so very get at -able. But yeah, what a brilliant, brilliant idea that is utilizing this area so well I think that's genius okay let's come back out of here I think that's the lower deck done I'm going to show you the uh, the galley and then we're going to head on up there's a bridge deck as well and there's even another deck on top of that so plenty more still to see this is the galley and there is a load of refrigeration in here anyway so massive freezer there massive fridge over here and of course the ones that we just saw down in that utility area this is a beautiful galley really well appointed i mean you know nice thing you see in many houses that is um, a lot of storage dotted around obviously all the cooking equipment is in here the sinks um, there's a doorway here which means that when you bring provisions on you can walk straight on the side deck you don't need to come through the saloon and straight into here and then of course then it's down the steps to that forward area if you want to use that as well the utility area tremendous view out dishwasher trash compactor all the usual kind of stuff and the wine cooler and then in here is pantry there we go okay we have another tour going on we're at the boat show in miami at the moment so we are going to come out of here loop on around i showed you the day heads this is back to the saloon isn't that beautiful and we'll come right on around and up now they've covered these for the boat show this is not the standard finish these are just covers that they put on they velcro on um, just obviously because they've got a lot of traffic through here during the boat show they want to keep that perfect so we'll come on up here so this fabulous sky lounge up here you got uh, entertainment up here as well your AV equipment so brilliant little cinema area great place for the kids to come and do some gaming just another really nice zone on the boat we've got refrigeration over here and then we've got a bar area on this side so this is just a bit of st bit of storage in places like that nice little card table up here and if we go on forward there is another day head for the bridge deck that's in here And the sink and if we come forward again this is the bridge itself now there's a door on here so of course this can be closed off at night you can have this in complete darkness when you're running the boat and have all the lights on back here without disturbing the captain there's a nice little desk area in here storage for all the various bits and pieces that are needed and then this wonderful bridge proper place of work that is isn't it just fantastic huge multi-function displays we're looking at uh, cameras on this one at the minute so we're looking to the engine room for example 
looking out onto the aft deck, watching people coming on and off. We've got navigation, we've got depth, but you can configure these to display whatever you choose. Engine controls, thruster controls, big compass, autopilot, all the usual bits and pieces, and these very nice, comfortable leather chairs. Awesome. Even in here, the lighting is just beautiful, and so is the woodwork. Look at this, this way this is just engraved into here. It's not just stuck on, it's beautifully engraved. Everything about this boat feels fabulous, solid. Look at these hinges. I mean, it's just brilliant. If we come out here, we've got a Portuguese bridge that comes around the front. There are wing stations up here somewhere. <laughs> Back it up. Yeah, there we go, wing stations down there. And that is so that you can stand here and you can watch the boat in if you're alongside other boats. And then up here, Portuguese Bridge. And this will take us around the front. And wrap us around another wing station here. And then back in. Through here. Again, with those mega hinges. Just fantastic. Okay, lots more to see. Let's go back out through here. We've got the bridge deck aft. There's also a sun deck to show you on this one. So we'll come back out through here. These have got touch buttons to open them. If your crew and your hands are full, carrying trays, that kind of thing, they've all got little touch buttons down here. So you can just touch it with your foot and that'll open like so. It's rather nifty great little dining area or chilling out area you can fold this up to half its size if you wish to you've got the bar up here you've got sunbathing up here also got a crane up here because this is where your tender would live when you're underway you'd move the sun pads out of the way and your tender or your jet ski or both you position on this aft deck and you might think well that's great well where do i sunbathe then <laughs> don't worry it's been thought of let's go on up here to the sun deck Here we go, sunbathing sir, or madam, as requested. If you'd like a hot tub, we can do that too. Just brilliant. And you'll notice up here as well, just how high we are. I mean, we're amongst some big boats up here and yet we're looking down on just about everything. So you've got brilliant privacy up here. A fantastic seating area, great place to dine again, especially if you're in port and you want to be up and above and not looked at. Well, this is a great place to be, isn't it? But at anchor as well, you know, the views that you would get from up here, just terrific. That's looking down over that bridge deck that we were just on. But yeah, you really get a sense of the height, don't you? Absolutely fantastic. There's a waterproof TV that rises out of here. And then this is refrigeration and storage. Fantastic, let's keep going, more to see. So we're back down here. Back across this section, these are life rafts on the aft corners. And then we've got this access here, which takes us back down to the main deck and the cockpit where we came on. But what we're gonna do this what time. Are Hello. What are you doing here? Oh, look, interlopers, can't believe it. Drop this before uh, us? Always, always. <laughs> How are you doing? All right. Always. Yes. This is, um, I don't know if you've ever heard of her, but yeah. she's got a little YouTube channel. What are you it's up to a now? Small little YouTube channel. 100 subscribers? Um, they're 300. <laughs> 300. Did you know it's here? Did you guys have a having a meeting here? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, sorry. We'll press on forward. No, Listen, it's okay. I'll, I'll carry on. I'll catch up in a little Bye. while. Bye. Bye. Oh, I got told off. <laughs> okay, we're going to take a wander around the outside. Quite unusual to have the walk around decks all on one level. Quite often with yachts, you come up and onto the bridge deck and go forward. This one, you can actually lap the entire boat from here. Here we go. I'm sure you realise that that was Naughty Styles and Rico that were uh, on the aft deck there. Look how deep these boardwalks are here. And we've got even more sunbathing up here on the front. Okay, let's press on back. Uh, anchor handling kit, of course, is here as well. I'm going to show you the crew area now and the engine room 
and then I think we will call that a day before we get told off again. <laughs> this is the access from the, um, the galley area. So what I mean about how you can bring your provisions straight on and in without going through the saloon. This is that drop section of the board which gives you this beautiful balcony looking out across the water. And if we come right on back here, we can loop into this crew area. So if we head down here, crew mess area is down here. We've got more laundry facilities down here as well, so they're both ends of the boat. Little sink down here, TV is down here, refrigeration is down here, little microwave is down here. And I'll take you right back, first of all. Let's just close that one over. Because this is nifty. What we've got here is another little unit. This is an Atlas unit. What this does is convert the power coming onto the boat, the mains power, to, what it, to the correct voltage from any voltage or any frequency anywhere in the world. We've got a great little store area down here. Uh, tools, that kind of thing. But this here goes straight in to the, where the beach club was, where we came on. So if you're provisioning the boat, you can come onto the boat. You don't have to go up and round and down. You can pass things straight through here and straight into here. So that works really well as well. This one is the captain's cabin. So nice little desk area. We've got the, the double bed in here. Again, it's all really nicely finished. AV equipment, storage up in places like this. Hanging lockers and so forth. And this one has its own ensuite. That's tucked away back behind here. Separate shower. All very nice. Look at the lighting behind the mirror. I mean, they've just not cut any corners, have they? If we cross over, there are two more crew cabins. So this one is a twin. And again, with a storage and so forth about the place. Down here as well. That's the little galley area. And if we come forward again, we will find same sort of deal. So she'll sleep uh, four crew plus the captain. So you've got five and six if sometimes it's a captain, um, you know, husband and wife team or something like that. Um, so you have got some pretty decent crew capacity. I'm opening all of these for you, aren't I? But you know what the lockers look like. And these two share this crew heads in here. Again, really good size, proper full size, separate shower. All very comfortable, all beautifully lit. Just fantastic. That is a really nice crew area and you've also got monitoring here so we saw those Garmin screens there's one down here and you can monitor the entire boat so you can go into cameras and lighting and all that kind of stuff all from right here and the other thing that we've got access to here then is the engine room that's in here and in here we will find a pair of MTU diesel engines now these are V16 they're 2,600 horsepower each, and they give in the boat about 23 knots flat out. She'll cruise at 18 as a fast cruise. If you want serious distance with any as ever, you drop down to displacement speeds at seven knots. You've got nearly two and a half thousand miles of range. So it does have some serious legs. Generators are down here. There's one on this side. There's one over there as well. Camera system. So the camera is just that little jack up there that's what we're able to see on the monitoring system we've got the hydraulics for the side power thruster system all that kind of stuff all accessed in here that's brilliant isn't it <laughs> you can tell it's brand new can't you it just looks amazing awesome i think we are about there let's come out of there let's close that one up suddenly all is peace again. It's unbelievable, isn't it? And I think what we'll do is we'll head back up here. We'll avoid, the, avoid the cockpit in the meeting. Oh, no, we've got people coming from all sides. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. 
I am going to finish right here and I'm going to say massive thanks to Ocean Alexander and Marine Max, they're the dealers for these in America. And huge thanks as ever to you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of that one and I'll catch you on another one of these real soon. Take care. Bye bye.